know we're honored and privileged to be in this 64 field. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to host. That was one of our goals this year. We've been able to hit all our marks. You know, we wanted to win 40 games and we wanted to win a conference championship, a conference tournament championship, and hopefully be put in a position to host. So now what we've got to do is sit down after tomorrow's workout. Our players will be off today, try to get some rest in. We need to get home last night till around 1230. They've been uh, in a hotel since uh, Monday of last week. Uh, it's been a long week for them. So I'm going to try to get some rest in today and get going tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and then start to prepare for the teams that are in our field. So, uh, you know, I, I've never been one, I'll say this again, uh, uh, looking for an easy regional or when people say this one's winnable, or that's easy. I mean, now you're down to 64. All those teams have been good or they wouldn't be where they're at now. So now it's a matter of continuing to try to play your best baseball now. Uh, and we've been able to do that over our last 10. But uh, now, you know, things are going to change. Uh, we're going to get our fans back in. And that's the one thing I think our team is the most pleased of, and our coaching staff is, is getting the opportunity to have our fans come back to the Teague again. Uh, what's been key to your team flipping the switch like it has down the stretch? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, got to give a lot of credit to, to JT and Bab and continuing to work with our hitters. Uh, I think our hitters have done an exceptional job the, the last – you know, 10, 12, 15 games um, up and down that lineup. Um, people stepping up when it was time to step up. The game that we got behind, you know, by five and was able to come back and that game was huge for their confidence. So I, I think just we've played just good solid baseball. We, we finally put all three things together, uh, you know, night after night. And then we've been able to win in the different kind of ways we've had to win, whether we had to sack a guy over, uh, squeeze him in, um, score a bunch of runs to win. We've been able to win in many different ways, and I think that's all good for our confidence going into this weekend because you're going to have to win, you know, many different ways to continue to advance from this point on. How much different is it watching a selection show when you not only know you're in but you're hosting rather than kind of sweating it out? Well, I've, I've done, you know, many different ways through my 30 years of coaching, and it's surely a lot better sitting here, you know, knowing that your name's coming up and and just looking to see who's going to be in your field, you know, definitely. And I know how it feels on those teams that the last three that were in, the last three that were out, you know, I mean, I know how that feels. We've been times where, you know, we've had to sit there and sweat it out, and that's no fun. Do you go ready to take on the field? I, I think it's, you know, all, all the fields are going to bring in good teams. Um, everybody's hot. I mean, uh, they, they really put a lot of emphasis on your last ten. So, so many people, their last 10 have been good. So that's what makes, I think, the regionals, the super regionals in Omaha so special is that it's everybody that's playing good. You know what I'm saying? Nobody backs their way in. You know, all, all three of those teams are excited now because they, they hit the next stage of the season, postseason play. And so everybody's been hollering Omaha in their team meetings and when they break their huddles and everything. And this is the first step to Omaha right here now. It's been narrowed down from 300 and something to, to 64. So, you know, all three of them will pose different issues because they all play a little differently. But, you know, we'll go back and uh, prepare for all three of them and get our scouting reports and everything else just the same way they're going to be doing. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, you've heard me say this before, it's it's us, it's, it's that's, that's, you know, we got to handle us. Uh, we're, we're our biggest opponent when we've when we've played bad. We've been our, our worst opponent, not not the team sitting across from us. So, really, it doesn't matter who's in that dugout. We got to just continue to control us, and our players have done a great job over the last ten handling us. That being you, said, it probably wasn't a surprise to see Sam Houston's name pop up there. Yeah, I mean, him and I talked. We congratulated each other yesterday on our way back on the bus, and uh, their success that he had. The difference in them is they're a lot better team than they were than the team that we saw in February. So we'll have to be prepared if we cross their path. Um, you know, those young, those freshmen he had has, have gotten seasoned. Uh, they've gotten weathered throughout the year, uh, just like we have. And, and so they're going to be a lot better baseball team now than they were in February. You go in. When we talked after the Houston Regional, you said you learned a lot about the Regionals last year, kind of dealing with destiny and fate. I'm sure you've learned everything, ever, something every regional along the way. Was something you learned during the last experience that's maybe something new to the table this year? Well, the, the big thing is is that, you know, you, you, you've, you've, you've got to be consistent because the pitching you're going to face now is a lot better. Um, the scores will normally come down. Um, 
And, and so now the onus on pitching and defense is important. I think that's what makes us uh, a candidate because we can pitch and we can play defense. And then from there, you need people to step up and play big when it's time to play big. Um, that's what these things come down to, like Thurman did this weekend. You know, I mean, he stepped up and played big. And, and, and that's what we need because you're not going to get any second chances anymore. You know, in regular season, you have a bad weekend series, you can recover because you got another weekend series. You have a bad weekend this weekend, your season's over. Pitchers have proved that no matter whose name you call, they're ready to throw down. Are, are you just going to kind of throw Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the wayside to play matchups? Uh, we possibly might do that. We'll talk as coaches tomorrow after practice and, and look at the rotation, look at the teams, uh, how many lefties and righties are in those teams, and, and then we'll try to come up with the rotation that we think is in our best interest uh, to win this regional. Coach, what's been the, the difference in, uh, I guess the difference is that, that you know, the, the way the season started off, everyone was concerned outside of the team about about winning these week these weekday games struggling in that but is it all about the kids just trusting in the process and, and knowing that it's, it's a long road well I mean it's I, I think and it's just like in your personal life I mean I think you have to go through what you have to go through to become who you are and uh, everybody just believes that you know you're going to become a great team by just winning every game it doesn't happen that way I think we're better now because of what we went through. And so the biggest problem that people do is they abandon the process when things don't look good. And that's the one thing I give a lot of credit to this team is that they've never abandoned the process. And now the process uh, is, is, is paying them back now. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations, Coach.